Hi, I'm Dr. Andy Barlow with the Chiropractic Neurology Center of Tupelo. Also, I'm the founder and one of six instructors for the American Functional Neurology Institute. I can be found online at afniseminars.com or you can call my clinic at 662-844-1414. Now today what we're going to be talking about is ulnar neuritis. And what this means is we've got numbness or tingling in these two digits, in the little finger and the ring finger. So when we're dealing with any type of numbness, whether it be in the hand or foot, no matter what neurological sign that we have, we need to start with the neurokinetic chain. So for ulnar neuritis, what do we need to look at? We need to look at the brachial plexus, and the reason for that is, namely, at these nerve roots, C8 and T1. If we understand the brachial plexus, we understand that C8 and T1 make up the ulnar nerve. So we need to look at the base of the cervical spine, and we need to look at where these nerves come out. Do we have any spleen muscles that are maybe uh, hypertonic or in a spasm that can actually entrap C8 and T1? Uh, the nerve comes down uh, obliquely across the tricep, and it actually hits the olecranon fossa. And if, you ever, if you've ever hit your elbow, uh, you know what that feels like because you hit your funny bone and you get this shooting electrical type of sensation into uh, your finger. <clears throat> so what we have here is this ulnar nerve is going to go down the arm. There are several muscles that are innervated by this, but we're going to talk about the sensory component today. If we look at the hand, if we're looking at our hand like this, once we get into the hand, we have our hand in this situation, in this position here, palms up, and the ulnar nerve actually, when we're standing in anatomical position, the ulnar nerve it innervates the median part of the ring finger and the entire uh, little finger. Now what we can do here is we can actually do a digit span test. This is a functional neurological test that we can do to see how well this ulnar nerve is functioning. We can actually have a patient close their eyes and we can do different tests on the fingers and we can come over to the ulnar nerve and we can say, tell me how many fingers are between the fingers I'm touching. Because if we have any type of de-innervation uh, in these nerves that go to the ulnar nerve, once you get to this ulnar nerve distribution, they're not going to be able to tell you how many fingers are there or how many fingers are between the fingers that we're touching. So what we would need to do to correct this problem, we know the symptom is here, but we have to look at this entire neurokinetic chain starting at C8 and T1. Is the ulnar nerve damaged? Do we have something wrong with, wrong with the olecranon fossa? Do we need to shoot the laser at the olecranon fossa? Do we need to shoot the laser on the medial aspect of the hand? Do we need to shoot, or I'm sorry, the forearm and into the hand? Also, we need to look at the metabolic aspect of care. The very, very minimum that we need to look at is, does this person have a blood sugar problem? Are they type 2 diabetic? Uh, also, we need to look at inflammation. Inflammation destroys these nerves. Also, we need to look at, does a patient have anemia? Because the two things that we need to make these nerves function properly is fuel and activation, and that comes from our blood sugar and oxygen. So we really need to look at glucose and oxygen, and also we need to look at inflammation. So the next thing that we're going to talk about is we're going to go in and we're going to do the M6 laser. We're going to show you how would we set the laser up on the neck and on the arm and the hand, and then how do we distract this neck to get the pressure off the nerves in the neck if we have stenosis in the cervical spine. So we'll go and we'll show you how the laser works. All right, and we're back. This is the M6 laser. This is a 25 watt class 4 laser that is unassisted therapy. And yes, you heard that right. It's a class 4 laser that is unassisted therapy. This has 25 programs in here. And all I need to do is just shoot the XY axis and we can, we can vary the height of, of the laser and the width of it. And where the crosshair is, when I turn this laser on, this is exactly where the laser will shoot. Now, of course, I can make this bigger or smaller and wider if I want to do that. Now, remember, what we're looking at, this patient comes in with a symptom of ulnar neuritis, but we have to look at the neurokinetic chain. We have to look at the neck all the way down this uh, ulnar nerve distribution. So we would come in here. If the person has stenosis in the neck, we would come in here and shoot the lower cervical spine. And the next thing that we would do, once 
we, and then of course once we shoot this, we can just walk out of the room. We do not need assistance with this class 4 laser. This is a patented, unassisted therapy uh, class 4 laser. Now the next thing we would do, once this is over with, <coughs> we'd want to come in here and see if we need to shoot in the area of the electron fossa. And then we, we may have to shoot on the, the medial aspect of the forearm because again, this ulnar nerve is running through this medial aspect of the forearm into the hand. So when we're doing this exam on a patient, again, I cannot stress enough, we need to take x-rays of the cervical spine, we need to look at the cervical spine, do we have stenosis here? Do we need to shoot in here uh, where the brachial plexus are? We may have some problems with uh, the spleen muscle, we may have some problems with the medial aspect of the arm, and we may have to shoot the medial aspect of the hand. So, what we're going to do next is we're going to go in and show you how do we distract this neck and take the pressure off these nerves at its origin. We're going to use the head, neck, and shoulder machine, and that's exactly where we're headed to next. All right, so we've talked about we need to look at the cervical spine on x-rays to see if we have any stenosis in the cervical spine. We need to do a complete neurological exam on a patient. We may have to shoot uh, the laser in the cervical spine, spleen muscles, the medial aspect of the hand, and the ring finger. Now we have Forrest here, and he's on our head, neck, and shoulder machine. And what we're going to do here is we're going to distract the neck. We'll hold it for 15 seconds and then let off. Hold it for 15 seconds and let off. And we also have the peripheral neuropathy rehab therapy. This is a therapy, it's not a TNG unit, it's actually a therapy that stimulates the nerves in the hands at 7 0.83 hertz, and you can actually find this piece of equipment on rebuildermedical.com. So, uh, I'm Dr. Andy Barlow. I'm a board-certified chiropractic neurologist. I hope you learned something today, whether you're a doctor or a patient, that you learned something about ulnar neuritis and how we can actually help patients that are suffering from ulnar neuritis. If you have any questions, you can call me at 662-844-1414, and thank you very much.